All right, here's a little video to try to explain how to cut the fabric in preparation for your Renaissance ribbon bag kit. So the exterior fabric, in this case, it's a new one, it's this color fabric, you will cut six inch tall and the length you prefer, you choose. In my case, it's a 21 and a half. You can do 22 and a half or 16 and a half. That's what makes the uh, size of the bag. You know, now you are working on this one. That's the 22 and a half. That's a 16 and a half. So you cut 16 and a half, six inch tall. Okay. Next piece, you are going to cut your lining. In my case, this is the stripe. Same length, obviously, as the exterior, but seven and a half. The lining fabric is taller than the exterior, and I'll show you why. Then you're going to cut your soft and stable. Uh, I like to iron it out. I didn't do that yet. It'll be nice and stretched. And you cut exactly as the lining, which is seven and a half, and the width, you, the length you selected. In that case, it's the 21 and a half for mine. Okay, now what will happen with the exterior piece, which is the black one, I'm going to position it matching the raw edge of the bottom. Nice, like that. And use all the clips you want to clip it all around and do your quilting, however you want. I like to do the one inch diagonal or cross hatch the other way as well. And that's why your six inch is smaller than the soft and stable and the lining, because eventually at the end, you will start putting your ribbons on top. This is my ribbon for the next kit. And the two ribbons, and that would be also the zipper. So voila, that's just about the cutting. If it's useful, I can do another video to tell you more. But your bag looks very good, the one you did of the K facet. And the fact that it's a squatty like that, that's that's all right. You can make it different if you do the corner, the cut corner, the box corner, you can make them bigger and then it will be uh it would sat, it would sit wider. But this is pretty. So that's what you will get here with your new kit. I hope it's useful. Until soon.